Circulation heaters are probably the most sophisticated type of electric process heater out there. They really are a heat exchanger. An electric heater is placed into a vessel or a chamber and the elements hang out into the chamber. The vessel has an inlet and an outlet that are flanged connections normally to a process and product flows through that heater out into a process. So heat is exchanged from the electric heater to the product flowing through it. Electric process heaters can come from a very small size that you could hold in your hand all the way to something bigger than a school bus. They can handle pressures from one PSI or low PSI all the way to 5,000 PSI. Circulation heaters as a process heater are really pretty sophisticated like I mentioned before. They take a high level of control. When product is flowing through our heater, it's usually going to some critical process that has to receive its product at a very precise temperature. So the control system on a circulation heater really needs to modulate that heater at a higher rate and make corrections if the flow varies a little bit or if the temperature needs to change at the process. Typically, circulation heaters, in terms of the thermal loop, need a very precise controller. They would require a PID controller for a temperature controller. They would require an SCR to fire the voltage to the heater, and they would require a sensor placed right at the outlet of the heater to make sure that that product was leaving the circulation heater at the correct temperature. These heaters have to make corrections in multiple times per second. They have to react quickly to process conditions, and they have to deliver performance time and again to your process.